Hey guys, it's Bub here. In the past, you've heard of Tiny10 and Tiny11, but have you heard of Tiny XP? Tiny XP is actually an older type of Tiny operating system. It was originally developed in 2006 and revised in 2010. Coincidentally, on June 6, 2006, which th that date annotates as 6 slash 6 slash 06, and the 2010 edition was released on September 10th, 2010, which was 10 10 10, which is actually 13 years ago today. I did not realize that. That was not done intentionally. So we're going to be taking a look at this version of Tiny XP. Um, this is apparently like an all-in-one ISO. Um, I did not take a look at this prior to this. Um, I just wanted to take a look and see what we've got going on here. As you can see, this is Tiny XP Rev 11 when experience. Uh, September 2010. So we are going to go ahead and click. I think we want to do Tiny XP Beast Edition because that is the 2010 version. So pressing number three on the number row, not the number pad because the number pad does not work for some reason. Um, it'll just loop you back into the restart. Um, we're going to see how we go from here. So this just so far looks like your typical Windows setup. I'm going to go ahead and scale this up so we can see a little better. Um, but we're going to see what this entails. Supposedly this is supposed to bring our Windows installation down a lot um, to a smaller kind of form factor. But I'm curious to see what they've cut out. Now we have taken a look at Windows XP Superlight in the past, which has done a lot to kind of cut the operating system down but I'm curious to see like you know this is a real this is a 2010 build this was back in the quote action days of Windows XP so let's see what what was considered tiny back in 2010 and even 2006 well I just missed it but that was the classic Windows XP startup screen I really do miss Windows XP it brings back a lot of memories um, so here we are it is decompressing some files and we are booting into the Windows XP setup which is really pixelated because of the upscaling that we have here. Um, I'm hoping that this doesn't take too, too long to let us in. Um, it shouldn't. There we go. It's going to run through this. Windows is detecting and installing devices on your computer. It does this typically in a normal Windows installation, except the background isn't like a dark color. Typically the background is like that blue gradient that's like walk on Windows XP, that kind of thing. So it looks like that was removed to save a little bit of space and a little bit of system memory during setup. All right, and here we are in the final tasks of the Windows XP setup. It didn't really take us through any out-of-box experience where the user has to input anything like username, password, user account creation, anything like that. It's just straight up going through, and I believe we're about to be let into our desktop. And once again, there is that classic Windows XP startup screen. It actually booted up really quickly. And this thing is, I've never seen this before. I've never seen the login screen say executing C Windows System 32 WL Notify. That must be something new. Um, another thing is I thought this bar was supposed to like rotate, um, but apparently it is not. So that's something new that I haven't really seen before. Um, this is hanging here for a little bit longer than I think it should. Oh, there we go. All right. So this says, do not use Windows until your system has restarted. And it is restarting now. Okay, cool. Um, so I guess it's going to go ahead and restart. There we go. That was an interesting theme, to say the least. I am not, I don't know what I was expecting, but similar to another version of Windows that we took a look at. I believe it was a custom version of Tiny11. This is not very, um, you know, spectacular so let's see if I can get the VMware tools installed on here um, which it appears like the entire VM has just straight up froze there we go let's see if VMware tools will install on this version of Windows so you can at least get a little bit of a better experience here um, I'm hoping that this will go well because I, I know that in the past VMware tools has not like agreed with some custom versions of Windows and look at that. I forgot. I mean, I knew this, but I forgot. There's no user account control. It's just so weird, like, that you can just click next, 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 and it just goes through, and there's no UAC that's bombarding you. Huge security risk, but, you know, 2010, and security is the least of their concerns. 
we're gonna not restart because you know we already got what we need we got the full screen resolution so when something there's something about Windows XP in 1440p I know it's not the best viewing experience on a phone but I don't believe that is I don't believe there's upscaling um, well that's not what I want to do uh, okay that I just ruined that uh, there's no upscaling for this version of Windows so here we are in tiny XP on the desktop by default we have my computer recycle bin and experience which appears to bring a few you know sort of tools registry backup drive installer things like that again very old files 2010 2008 you know this is like a core example of Windows XP back in the day I'm gonna go ahead and change Ooh, I do like that I want that one I'm gonna change our theme just so you know the desktop isn't so dark and depressing um, on the taskbar we have literally safely remove hardware and the volume slider which does not make a noise and we have our taskbar which is unlocked by default I miss being able to do that that something I miss about Windows 11 opening the start menu we can see that we have a very cut down and it feels short like a short task manager, not task manager but start menu here um, we have accessories which is very minimal communications entertainment system tools calculator which is the old windows calculator um, we also have command prompt directx uh, disk management notepad paint uh, rdp which this prompt has not changed one bit since that original time um, and windows explorer which does look a little weird um, maybe it's just because i'm not used to this or it's some sort of kind of slim down version that i'm missing here um, my computer there we go wow that's actually not a lot of space we are using what is that like 1.4 gigabytes which is not a lot by any means so there maybe that's like normal for windows xp i don't recall so this is internet explorer and it still works we did indicate that we want internet explorer because there was an option to kind of not install internet explorer um, just to kind of save a little bit more space the other thing was also windows media player i believe um, that should be in here somewhere um, so moving on we have administrative tools such as component services computer management data sources local users and groups performance and services which again most of this stuff this stuff has not changed at all I mean the process to get in here this is literally the same today so that's that's fun um, administrative tool startup Internet Explorer remote assistance and that's about it on the pin side we have my documents my pictures my computer control panel administrative tools network connections printers and faxes and the run dialog um, typing in Winver we can see that we have this is the 2007 build service pack 3 um, I think it auto activated itself um, can we see activation even the support here says tiny XP and it named itself Experian dash a random number so with that being said this is just pretty much that brief overview of tiny XP definitely interesting um, I wonder how many people actually did use this back in the day um, 2010 2006 when Windows XP was the premier operating system so with that being said thank you for watching this video if you liked it make sure to subscribe for now and here as I do all kinds of different technology videos including device restorations with that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.